The thing that got me excited about the movie really it was completely James Gunn. Uh, we talked about it, and he had this idea for who Rocket could be, and it was his excitement and his vision that really inspired me and continued to. I'm so happy that we're doing a second one. I think that we, we learned from uh, doing the first movie and the first journey. Uh, we have a better understanding of who Rocket is, and... Uh, He's evolved. I mean, also with the technology evolving, I think also the character has evolved. And that, that's been a fun process to be a, part, be, be a part of because I'm just a small part of Rocket. I mean, so many people go into who Rocket is. Rocket is the forever martyr. Um, he's, uh, but he has a, a, a pack now. It's not just he and Groot. So he's got other people to contend with and harmonize with and, and battle with. And we're sort of, I, I think at the end of the first one, you're just... Can't wait to see how this dynamic's going to play itself out. I think the reason, one of the reasons why uh, I've really enjoyed this uh, type of film that James is making is it's spectacular and of another world, yet it seems so kitchen sink drama. It, it seems like such a movie that you can relate to. All Everything seems so human. So you have this tree and this... Uh, uh, mechanized raccoon who feel very much like people you may have grown up with or you know and uh, James just has his finger on the pulse of humanity uh, in that in that way